And Lord, we ask that, Father, even for the leadership that you have given unto us, Lord, in our nation, with the guidance of our president, Ulmuigai Kenyatta, and the deputy, we pray for them as they continually think day and night, Lord, on how to better this our nation. Schools use a huge chunk of their school budget to pay for electricity. Alan's High School uses over 700,000 Kenya shillings per month to pay for electricity bills. That one translates to close to 10 million Kenya shillings in a year. In the mid-1980s, the high cost of gas and inadequate supplies necessitated schools to revert to use of firewood, which has been the main source of fuel to date. A waste to any school's kitchen will always be met with smoke, black roofs, walls, floors littered with ash, cooks who look untidy, and you always smell of smoke. We have now installed a gas system that uses area infrastructure and hence maintained the same idea of energy saving. We have partnered with Equity Bank and Protogas in ensuring that the installation is effective. By so doing, we find that we, the system is effective, that it even uses less time, it is clean, the environment is very conducive and easy to clean, it is healthy, the, the kitchen personnel always look clean and always wear bright faces. It is cost effective, it is environmental friendly, and our forests will be saved. I support what Mr. Mwangi of Alliance is doing. It's a good project, and I also encourage that program and project in our schools. So, Mr. Mwangi, Equity, we are ready for you as well. Thank you so much. May God bless you. It gives me great, little, great pressure to witness the beginning of a very important milestone in our schools. The journey towards uh, clean cooking and saving our environment. Two years ago, when we were celebrating our 35 years anniversary as equity group, we decided to plant 35 million trees. Uh, last season, we were able to plant uh, 3.5 million trees. And as we planted those trees, we realized majority of the schools were using food, uh, wood fuel uh, for cooking in their kitchens. And when we did research, we discovered 97% of our schools use fu uh, wood fuel. And a deep dive revealed that uh, they use a million metric tons of wood every year worth 10 billion shillings. We realized we needed to, be, to create a more integrated um, program that would ensure the trees who grow to maturity and will not be threatened by the need uh, for wood uh, energy. We did research and realized that it would not take much to transform all the schools in Kenya uh, to use clean, sustainable energy that would protect our trees. And when we did the computation, we realized with uh, 5 billion shillings, we could be able to transform uh, all our schools to use LPG or whichever other uh, form of clean energy they would prefer. Kenya is classified as a low forest cover country. I don't need to say more about the importance of forests. We all know why they are important. They play an economic value, they play an ecological value, environmental value, social, cultural. One of our key stakeholders is the private sector, and particularly the banks. And recently we had a meeting with equity leadership and uh, with James Mwangi, and when we discuss about this program, 
we said it fits very well into clean, uh, into the uh, strategy. Because we don't just, on tree planting, we plant more trees. That is about supply. But we also know that we demand a lot. So we need to work on demand side. And what this program that has been launched today is, is doing is to work on the demand side, to reduce the need for having to cut trees. But I've gone round. And I'm thoroughly shocked because uh, what you require in order to change uh, the infrastructure for, for cooking is very little, just a few pipes. Uh, we have discussed a few safety issues which will continue to be implemented. So this is an idea that would have been implemented yesterday. We are going to follow the right procedure. I will uh, get my people at the ministry and government up to the cabinet level very quickly. And once that is done, Dr. Mwangi, I think this is something that will make the president happy for several reasons. But the most important one, that you will save money, which the government wants to use for other things. But more importantly, you will save trees, which you can use for medicines. It's a project that is transformative. It is good for the government agenda. Because, as, as I know now, more than 90% of our schools are using wood. You just imagine how long it takes a wood to grow. How much water it has consumed. How much if negative effect it has done to the climate. When you remove uh, oxygen from the climate, then you, you see what they call, a, they talk about climate change.